To create the candle on your birthday cake, you're going to touch the plus icon on the right hand side. Choose a color ink that does not blend in with your cake. I'm going to go with blue. You should have the technical pen and the size should be four with 100% opacity. All right, so we're going to go to the rectangle tool or the square tool and we're going to touch and drag to create the candle shape. Touch the paint bucket, tap inside, and then you're going to add a design to your candle. You can free draw with the wavy line to the right of the circle and square. Change the color to whatever you like. I'm gonna use yellow. And you can just create some kind of design. All right, so there's the design of my candle. I'm now ready to work on the fire. Now, yes, this candle is larger than what we want in the end, but we'll shrink it down once we add the flame. While I'm in the drawing stage, I'm going to change my color to gray. I'm just gonna add a little candle wick on the top. All right. So now, zoom in, make sure it doesn't go below my blue. All right, now I'll add the fire. Changing the color to orange. And adding a new layer on the right hand side so that it's above the candle. I'll go to oval. Touch and drag. It's okay if it's not centered because we can move it. Paint bucket, tap two times. We need to distort this shape so that it's not perfectly round. So go to the move tool with the four arrows to the left of the paint bucket. And we're going to use the first icon, which is distort. Distort allows us to change and distort the shape by moving the circle in the middle. What I want to do is pull it straight down. Now, not all the way down because I don't want it to be a triangle. I just want like a gumdrop type of shape. All right, that works. And I need two of these. I want one inside of this to be a little bit smaller and a different color. So I'm going to duplicate this layer Now I have two. If you didn't, I'll undo that. If you didn't see that, duplicate is on the top row on the far right. So that's duplicate. Now I'm going to change the color to yellow. And I'm going to tap this shape. Go to my paint bucket, tap, and now I have a yellow gumdrop on top of the orange gumdrop. The only issue is that they're the exact same size. So I need to shrink the one on top by going to the move tool and pinching my fingers together so that the inside flame is smaller. All right, so now these two have to be merged together before I relocate it. So on the right hand side, I'm tapping the yellow gumdrop shape. And this time in the second row, I'm going to touch merge. Not merge all, just single merge. Okay, that brings both of those together. I just tap the move tool to shrink it, place it on top of the wick. Now I can hit done and let's zoom out. All right, I think I want my flame a little bit more in proportion. So I'm actually gonna make it bigger. There we go. All right, now I'm done. So now I need the flame to attach to the candle. So I'm tapping that layer. I go to a single merge. 
and now the entire candle is on one layer. I can open and close the eye and I see that it's all in one spot. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, now I need to duplicate the candle. I'm going to tap, choose duplicate on the far right of the, re of the top row and now go to the move tool to move it to the side. I'm gonna make this candle a little smaller. Hit done. And I will duplicate again, this time moving the candle to the left, making it a little smaller. Done. All right, let's zoom out. All right, that looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. And now the candles are finished.